origin, the strategies, the mechanics, the purpose, and methods of the device that has blinded us in the first place. Now let's look back at that. First of all, have you identified the device that got you blind? Think with me. Have you identified it? Most of you have not. Most of you say, the white man. Okay. <laughs> and then how do you address that? You have to specifically identify the device that has miseducated you. Look at its origin. Go to the origin of it. Look at the strategy inculcated into it. What is the strategy behind your blindness? What's up with that? What is the mechanics of it? What is the purpose of it? Why have they purpose to miseducate you? Why? And then look at the methods that they have used to implement their design. And the number one method that's been used to implement this design upon our people is religion. Why is that? Why, why didn't they use economics to, 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 to attract us? Because we're not materialistic people. We're not capitalists by nature. Why did they use religion? Because by nature we are a spiritual people. By nature, we are attracted to things pertaining to God. So because we're attracted to things that's pertaining to God, they use things pertaining to God to, to, to snare us and hook us and, and place us under arrest and incarcerate our minds till we become dysfunctional and powerless. Brothers and sisters, when it comes to the liberation of the African mind from European concepts, whose concepts? European. Let, me, let, me, let me do something here. Do you honestly think that there is a need for the European mind to be delivered or liberated from European concepts? Let me hear your answer. What do you think about that? Yes. Or in case you're not clear, let me help you. Nothing is as backwards is to have an African brain with a European philosophy in it. Everybody knows who they are but us. Everybody on this planet. Everybody on this planet has cultural pride but us. Y'all follow what I'm saying? We must examine and then re-examine again and again and again those agencies that have Europeanized our thinking until we are truly disconnected from the tentacles of their grasp. Imagine a giant octopus, okay, and you're fighting just one of the tentacles. Just one of the tentacles, you're fighting it, and you got a hold on that one tentacle, and you think you're winning. Come on, man. When you got seven other tentacles that's wrapping you up and locking you up and making you immobile, you got to learn how to see the big picture here. The ecumenical councils were legally convened assemblies of ecclesiastical dignitaries. What kind of dignitaries did I just say? Yes. When I say ecclesiastical family, I mean church. Church dignitaries, okay? And theological, let me add this, so-called theological experts. For the purpose, it was convened for the purpose of discussing and regulating matters of church doctrine and discipline. Now, some deep stuff here because these council meetings actually created what's called authoritative decrees. I mean, they actually passed so-called laws as to what is and what is not 
what you are allowed to think and what you better not say. Let's look at this, the Council of Nicaea. Three things I want to cover here today about that council. The cause of the council, why was there a need to convene this council in the first place? Let's understand that. What was the decree that came out of the Council of Nicaea? And what was the outcome of the council itself? All right, let's, let's look closely at this. What caused the council meeting at Nicaea? Well, to understand that, we have to go back to the first European pharaoh in history. His name was Ptolemy I Soter. I told you I was going to present some archaeological evidence. This is what this is this is what you mean. This is what I mean when I say evidence that demands a verdict. This is not somebody that we just made up. Here's a coin that dates back to this man's administration. The first European pharaoh. He was the beginning of what is called the Ptolemaic dynasty.